Hi, I'm Gail Stotler from Vane Access Technologies. And today I want to talk to you about a new tool for teaching venipuncture, any venipuncture. This new tool is called the Grip Pressure Assessor. It's going to tell us about how much pressure is being applied to that needle system upon needle insertion. And we can really improve any needle insertion by determining this information. The new tool that I want to talk to you about is called the Grip Pressure Assessor. It assesses how much pressure we're applying to the needle system as we do that needle insertion. This information is going to be critical to a painless needle insertion or a painful needle insertion. This new tool is called a grip pressure assessor. With sensors, we can determine how much pressure is being applied to the needle system upon needle insertion. With this assessor, we can determine what your grip pressure is and what it should be. Why is this important? Well, number one, ask any patient. <laughs> but number two, think, recall that in the hospital on that particular shift, there's only one person in the entire hospital on that shift who's any good with a needle. So ever after everybody's had their own stab at it, they yell, go get Nancy, she's good. Well, what is it about Nancy? What is it that she does different that makes her better than the rest? Nancy can't tell you, but vein access technologies can, and we can make everybody Nancy good. Think about it. We all know that in that hospital, on that shift, there's only one person that's good. Or why is it there's only one hospital? Think about it. We've probably all had this very experience where you go, hmm, there's only one nurse in the entire hospital on that shift that's any good with the needle insertion. So after everybody's had their stab at it, they yell, go get Nancy, she's good. Well, Nancy can't tell you why she's good, but vein access technologies can, and we can make everybody as good as Nancy with that needle insertion. We've all had the experience. Why is there only one person in the entire hospital on that shift that's any good with a needle. Their needle insertions don't hurt and they get it on the first stick. Well, when you ask that person, what makes it different? Why are you so good and the others aren't? They go, I don't know, I just do it. So they're of no value to anybody else because they can't tell you why they're good. But vein access technologies can, and we can make everybody just as good with this tool and with other VAT method tools. So this grip pressure assessor is the latest medical advancement in venipuncture. You have sensors on the adapter, sending signals to the receiver, sending signals to the computer, which tells us what the pressures are. This grip pressure assessor This tool and this concept of measuring grip pressure is the latest medical advancement in venipuncture. How you hold the needle affects the insertion of the needle and the patient's perception of that needle insertion. It's all in how you 
hold the barrel of the blood draw adapter, the barrel of the syringe, the stem of the IV needle. The lighter you hold the system, the patient won't feel the stick. The tighter you hold the system, the patient will feel every ounce of that insertion. So we need just the right touch. And this grip pressure assessor can tell us exactly what your grip pressure is. It's the latest touch sensor technology that assesses your natural grip pressure on the needle system. And with the same tool, your technique, your pressure can be tweaked to perfection. Happy patients, happy medical professionals. In addition, needle device finger placement also matters. Where you place the fingers and how make a difference. The lightest possible grip on a needle system requires that you use the pads of your fingers, not the tips. Thumb over the middle finger versus thumb over the index finger. Again, lightest pressure. And all four fingers sit together, whether they touch the barrel or not, of any needle attachment. So the position of the pads of the fingers and thumbs we see here with a blood draw needle. Four fingers underneath, thumb on top over the middle finger. Got it? We see it with the syringe. Same position. We see it with the IV needle. Same position. And we see it with the butterfly needle. And these are different, I know, than what you were taught or than what you picked up on your own or what you developed on your own. But we're adding science to this skill. And science dictates a different way than what has currently been done in the past. So again, it's all in how you hold the barrel of the blood draw adapter, the syringe of the IV needle. Grip pressure and finger pad placement. The lighter you hold the needle system, the patient won't feel anything. The tighter you hold it, they feel every ounce of that insertion. So we see a color range here, and it's going to tell us about how much pressure is being applied to the needle system as we pick it up to use it and then as we insert the needle into whatever tissue we're accessing. So first, I want to tell you that the sensor, okay, we have a needle system with sensors attached sending signals from through these wires to the receiver. The receiver is gonna Wi-Fi that signal to the software package that we're looking at on the screen also. So let me get this on. So once it's on, we have the needle barrel, whether it's a blood draw adapter or a syringe or a butterfly stem or an IV needle stem attached to wires, which is attached to the receiver unit. And the receiver is going to send a signal Wi-Fi to the software package. So that's the system. Now we'll actually see it as it works. So now that our program has been set, we'll activate it. Right now we see that it's nice and cool. There's no pressure being applied and we see the blues. As I pick up the sensor, we're going to see some change in that color presentation, but it's still nice and light. And that's really what we want. We need to be in the green and the blue range for cool, which means the lightest grip possible. 
And then grip strength varies from human to human. And as a person, the next person picks it up and their grip is a little bit stronger, right? And then we pick up another person and their grip is really strong. So the minute you transfer into, or you end up in that red range, we have issues. So we want cool. Very light, medium grip pressure, heavy grip pressure. So those are the range of possibilities there. On the right, the machine is actually measuring in millimeters mercury pressure, how much pressure is being applied to that system. So number one, we can identify on that person what their natural grip strength is. And if you're in the range that you should be for a needle insertion, no change to be made. But if you're not, then we can tell you while you're still gripping that tool, how much to lighten up, lighten up, lighten up until you're in the proper grip range. And now you have a sensation of how you should be holding that needle for that insertion. How do we know that this GPA really does work? Professional golfers have been using this assessment for years. Here's their story. The tighter you hold the club, the more askew your ball goes. Or let's put it another way. Your ball doesn't go where you want it to. So yes, it's been used and it's been proven. There's science to support this. Lots of articles. Do the research on your own. More articles. So five components affect the needle insertion. The amount of grip pressure applied to the system, finger placement on the system, position of the bevel, needle angle of entry, speed of insertion. So obviously in this one, we're talking about the first and the second component. The amount of grip pressure applied to the system and finger placement on the system. So the GPA assesses the first two. Any medical professional who inserts a needle for any reason needs a GPA. It's what's gonna make us better. So this grip pressure assessor So What's your GPA score? What should the score be? Why is the score important? What score are we talking about and what does the score have to do with vena puncture? Hopefully this presentation gave you some clues and an indicator and maybe even inspiration to get your GPA score. Get your grip pressure assessed. Actually, you need the 21 CVA training, the VAT method, the new, the next generation venipuncture. Science has advanced this skill. The current methods are not science-based. I know that's shocking, hard to believe, but when you read the vein access technologies information, you'll go, yep, science was not applied to what we were doing. In fact, it's the missing information. You've all said it or thought it. There must be more to this than what we were taught. And there is, and this is it. So visit Vein Access Technologies. See it at vatmethod.com or visit the science website, 
STEM 21 CVA, STEM, S-T-E-M for science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM21CVA.com, or call us. I'll take any questions. I'll field any concerns. I'm ready to take all healthcare providers who pick up a needle and use that needle into the next century, this current century, the 21st century, with this needle technology.